Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the CE Smith knife, plier, and tackle rack. So having a small little rack like this really does make life a little bit more convenient whenever you're out fishing. Uh, I know from personal experience, a lot of the main tools that you use consistently, you end up setting down, uh, casting, you're kind of stepping over them, and then whenever you need it, you're kind of doing circles, looking around for where you set it. And Honestly, that's a big waste of time. I know usually when I'm out on the water, I don't have all day. There's usually a time restraint. And the last thing I wanna be doing uh, is wasting time looking for what I need as opposed to fishing. So having a designated spot to keep all of your tools that you use regularly really does save a lot of time and energy. And for me, what I usually use the most at least is a knife. I fish with cut bait a lot and having this right next to my station here where I get a cutting board to cut up my bait makes it really convenient. Do what I need to do, take my knife out, drop it back in there. I use my pliers quite a bit too. So it's nice having those right there. And I also like to use these scissors um, whenever I'm tying on new uh, lures or leaders, whatever. This is how I usually trim stuff up. Now this slot over here is actually for another knife, but I kinda made do with it and figured that these scissors would work a little bit better for me. So you can kinda use it how you want. I will say uh, with the smaller tool like this in the slot, even though they fit in there, I don't think I would drive uh, from place to place with them. Uh, I don't want them to bounce out, but once you get anchored up or you're trolling or in calm water, really don't see an issue. That's not the case so for the rest of the tools. Everything's in there nice and tight, and I want to see uh, these coming undone or coming out uh, being an issue even on uh, relatively rough water. So there is going to be 15 small holes throughout here, which allows you to hang your hooks or your other tackle or lures. Uh, honestly, personally, I probably wouldn't use all of them. I feel like if you used them all, it'd just kind of be jammed up and kind of become a cluster uh, so I'd personally just kind of spread them out a little bit and honestly I would probably use these once I got to the spot uh, that I was trying to fish so say for example uh, if you're out doing a little bit of bass fishing um, and you have an arrangement of lures that you want to try out to so say you're doing top water stuff so I got some uh, top water lures there you just kind of lay them all out. That way you're not constantly digging in your tackle box and everything else. So I feel like, you know, once you get to a spot, I'd kind of pick what I think I want to use and lay them out there. That way they're ready to go. Same thing with these hooks. So I do a lot of catfishing and a lot, and a lot of uh, muddy uh, water that has a bunch of snags in it. And with catfish, Personally, I want to be up next to a snag, so I break off a lot of uh, leaders. And so what I like to do is tie up some leaders the night before. And once I get out on the water, kind of just leave these here. So it does really make it convenient. You know, I have my leaders here, my scissors here, my knife. I cut my bait up, tie on a new leader, set everything up, and cast out and enjoy myself. So the rack itself it's kind of a, almost like a thick plastic material. It's actually called uh, polypropylene. And so it's gonna be resistant to UV rays and mildew, things like that. So pretty important on a boat. Um, a lot of fishing boats especially, you see a lot of wear and tear. So it should hold up for a while, I'd imagine. And because of that material too, your knife should stay sharp. It's almost like a sheath, kind of reminds me of when you drop this down in there. So I don't really see, uh, you know, a doll on your blade out or anything like that. And if any of you are wondering, the whole thing itself is gonna be nine inches tall by four inches wide. So about as compact as it can get. Can't really make it too much smaller and be able to hold everything like this. So, but honestly, it's about the perfect size. You know, it'll fit in most areas pretty easily. This rack does get permanently secured to your boat and there's other ones available that you can actually move around that have a suction cup so you can uh, put it uh, in a different spot if you wanted to or kind of move it around 
However, that one is relatively large actually. And I know at least on these smaller freshwater boats, uh, you usually don't have a ton of space to work with. So something like this is probably better suited for you know, a smaller type fishing boat. That larger one I feel like would work good for uh, those offshore boats, those larger boats where you have a lot more room to work in and uh, kind of be able to move that rack from one place to the other. But at the end of the day, it's really just gonna depend on your setup and your preference. So at the end of the day, a convenient little holder that you set up once, once you get out on the water, and it's gonna save you a little time, prevent you from having to dig into your tackle box 20 times while you're trying to enjoy yourself. And that'll finish up our look at of the CE Smith knife, plier, and tackle rack.